Hi everyone, uh, welcome to this new session of Thought. Uh, today we're going to see an update on the dashboard. So, you know, but first uh, there's a, there's a, there is the new version of Grafana uh, 8, I think, and there were a lot of new interesting panels that we could use. So we decided to um, restructure a bit the dashboard for the SLI and SL service level indicator and service level objectives and we wanted to see more the picture of what is happening in the system. Um, so this is the issue that uh, I was working on. And we basically tried to have uh, uh, a little bit of overview of the components that are more, most important, also especially for the uh, application like Kebeshet. And then also for advisor and uh, uh, of course the thought knowledge, but that is part of another dashboard. So let me show you the dashboard. Um, so this is the dashboard related to service level indicators and service level objective that you can find in Grafana on Operate First. So this is related to the production environment. And so first of all, what you see is basically all the components which are important for us. So you see that uh, most of the APIs, user API and management API are up. The GitHub up. Uh, I will talk in a second about that. Um, then there are all the components that uh, basically monitor this, the, the, the other components and the investigator, which is uh, the one that schedule all the workloads for um, through messages and using messages from Kafka. And then we have also an overview of uh, some of these uh, uh, services that we are using. So Postgres, Kafka, Ceph, and OpenShift, of course. And here we have the workflow controllers. So all of most of these metrics comes from uh, uh, Prometheus, um, and these are by default uh, every time we deploy something, and we add that specific components. Then the endpoint is uh, uh, monitored by Prometheus by default. So these are coming from the monitor of the system itself while this one have been added by us. So we have our own uh, components and we monitor them. And the GitHub app, which is basically a combination of the different uh, services. So what do we expect to have uh, uh, to have the GitHub app? So means user API app, uh, investigator app, uh, the workflow controller in backend to be up. Uh, of course, Postgres, Kafka, and Ceph. So this is a combination of uh, the one. So if one of these is going to be down, then the GitHub app is going to be down, of course, because it depends on many services. Um, second part is related to this learning rate. So how um, fast we are learning and how much time do we need to learn. So this basically show us how the cluster is behaving kind of, because um, we can go way faster, uh, but uh, currently there is there are some network connection issues in the, in the cluster. So you see that uh, at the moment we are not learning so fast. So it's almost uh, less than four packages uh, per hour. So it's pretty low. And uh, there are also estimation of this. So if we add a new solver, how much time does the system takes to learn all of them? So at the moment you see it's very high, but uh, that is uh, of course correlated with this fact that uh, the learning rate is quite low. But at least we can have an overview of, of, of an estimate actually of what uh, what is the time that will take to add a new solver. So if we add uh, today another solver, it might take, uh, well, at the moment 278 days, but that's okay. Uh, it's a cluster problem at the moment. Then uh, we have uh, the uh, security indicators. So there is the same thing uh, um, related to the security indicators, which we are not, I mean, we are currently learning, but uh, we should have, uh, I mean, I forgot. Actually, we should have something similar to this one in the future. Um, at the moment, we are not focusing on that, uh, but mostly on the solvers. Then there is the failures rate. Uh, successful rate. So these are all rates related to the workflows in general. And here you have a more detailed one uh, related to each of the 
so so there is solver workflow you can see basically how is it behaving in time if the succeeding percentage is increasing or not means that the system is getting better uh there are less failures so it's of course correlated to that but there are also some uh, errors in this case so this basically should tell us that there is something that we need to check um all these metrics of course are correlated to alerts and these alerts will be triggered and uh, notified in github issues by kevishet as soon as uh, the alerts manager is back and this is done for most of the workflows so the resolver advisor there is also actually more detailed on a specific task because advisor workflow is made by several tasks this is specific to advisor itself so if advisor is uh, succeeding a lot or failing a lot then we can uh oh, those changes but i mean this change because uh, the system is changing of course um security you see that uh, are basically all failing so the one that are running uh, actually we do should not run them in prod so this is something that we need to check and again for the kebishet workflow provenance checker package extract these are all related to the percentage of succeeding, failing, or giving errors. So in this way, we can have an overview of uh, what is happening in the system. Then we have the latency of these uh, workflows. So we want to make sure that uh, basically we created some buckets. You can see if they are below 900 seconds or depending on that, if they are going fast enough. And this is basically showing you the um, percentage of it so from zero percent to one percent to 100 percent so you can check uh, basically the percentage of uh, um, workflows which are below or in between that bucket so you can you can see if the system is going uh, faster or slower and this is done for each of the workflows so same thing that you see from the uh, quality of the workflow here is for the latency of the workflows and then we have something more specific uh, to advisor. So of the failure and the succeeding one of advisor, we can actually see for each uh, version or release that is uh, deployed, how many are failing. And then we can see also why they are failing. This is strictly related to SLO reporter. So it's also pushing metrics. In this way, we don't need to go and see in two different places. We have everything in Grafana dashboard and actually with the new panels this is quite uh, nice we don't need to i mean currently we don't we're not going to use super superset for this so we can see it here and this is also another interesting one so we can see the number of requests versus the number of documents which means uh, if advisor was or any of the components was uh, triggered the request is created and on ceph there is a reference if the document is not uh, created then uh, uh, basically the system show that we lost some of the um, api calls so someone asked for that service but we never provided the results why then uh, we need to check why and uh, yeah here you basically see all the reports that are created um, and the request so if we want to make um, to see what what was actually the number of requests and the number of uh, reports this is always showing just the difference so this is related to an alarm if this is up then we will take an alarm we will have an alarm and uh, that's all thank you very much uh, if you have any question please uh, let me know otherwise uh, thank you any questions Um, otherwise, uh, thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Fredo. Thank you all.